Hey, welcome to Tech Tutor. And today I'm going to show you how you can make an effective social media post. So stay tuned. Hello friends, welcome back to Tech Tutor. And uh, today's topic of the video is how to create an effective social media post. What you basically should see, what you should basically do to create an effective social media post. Uh, anybody can uh, make a social media post, like anybody can edit any photograph, any pics, anybody can uh, write a text on uh, a photograph or a simple design. but what do I mean about effective? What do you think can really affect a social media post that can bring a difference or is a successful post? How to create a successful social media post? So let's start. What do I mean of an effective social media post? Effective. What is the meaning of effective? See, if the purpose of that social media post fulfills, that's effective. If you are selling a product on social media, if you are doing awareness for any any company, like if you are working, if you are a graphic designer or a social media manager in any uh, manufacturing company, let's take an example of a manufacturing company. If you are working as a designer in a steel manufacturing company, a steel company which makes steel coils. Are you going to sell a steel coil onto social media? I don't think so. So what you'll be doing in that company, you'll be sharing awareness about how steel is useful in daily life. Uh, see, uh, these kind of posts you'll be making for uh, that steel company for social awareness to support their product. Obviously, no direct customer is going to purchase a steel coil but these kind of awareness are very important for these kind of manufacturing companies and if you are making a social media post for some kind of a product if you cannot sell a product if your social media post doesn't bring any change if your social media post doesn't get any lead so it's a fail so i'm about to tell you some cliche points about how to create an effective social media post so point number one product you should understand you should analyze you should create some detailed points you should you should first analyze the product the usage of the product the industry of the product see i'm telling you this that if you will understand your product only then you can sell that product you need to understand the clientele of the product you need to understand how your product is being used or can be used from the customers which industry you want to target if you see any kind of advertisement like a television ad or a radio jingle or any kind of poster or printable ad into a magazine or a newspaper you will see the advertisers are showing the usage mainly the usage of the product in their advertisements the usage is a very important point for any kind of advertisement point number two target audience you need to understand that if you are making a social media post you just cannot post it like any other post if you are making a post regarding a product or a company a product is going to sell into its target audience everyone is going to buy your product and if you are doing a paid advertisement if you are doing a paid social media post then you need to target your audience how are you going to see the target how are you going to analyze the target number one you should see the age of your target audience because if you are making see these are very important points eh? if you are making a, a product that is uh, that can be used uh, from the age group of maybe 3 to 12 you're going to target that audience who is about 30 to 40 years because if you are making a product for teenagers uh, most probably just for the teenagers who are you going to target the teenagers right because almost everyone in today's time is onto a social media platform number second gender there are many products that are gender based you need to target your audience as the product you cannot sell anything any kind of product that is not set for their kind of gender you need to target wisely 
Point number three in target audience, color. Why am I putting this here? If I'm saying you should choose colors related to gender and age of the target audience for a specific product. So I'm telling you, if a feminine product you're selling, what color are you going to use? 99% of you are going to say pink, right? And if I may ask, if you are making a social media post for a product that is related to children, what color are you going to use? 80% of you are going to say baby pink or baby blue, right? So choosing a color in social media posts are very important to target your audience and showcase the product. Fourth point in target audience is place. See, if your audience is living in a deserted area, and your product is air conditioner a water bottle your product will be a big hit you're you're going to sell that product right but if your audience lives in a colder place and if you want to sell them ice cube that's not gonna happen you need to understand you need to categorize the geography so if you are going to use these elements into your paid social media post like on facebook or linkedin or wherever you want to post a paid advertisement point number three offers if you are selling a product if you are asking your customer to pay five hundred dollars for a product what do you think will impact if your customer really needs that product and if it's really a necessary what offers are you going to show to your customers emi options if your product supports these kind of options you really need these kind of options if you are selling something that expensive but if you do one more twitch into your design like if you are selling something for 500 dollars if you put put down that one dollar and write 499 will that affect yes that's going to give a positive effect because 500 is family of five and 499 is just one dollar down but that's family of four that really affects the psychology of the customers you need to write that down now you need to assure your uh, clients your customers your target audience that that your product is very good it's worth the price how are you going to write it hundred percent assurance full guarantee these kind of taglines these kind of hashtags you must use into your design and where are you going to put it onto the right down corner right next to terms and conditions where you put terms and conditions apply a very in a very small text 100 percent assurance you need to assure your customers that your money is you know you're not going to regret by paying us and by purchasing that product need you need to assure your customer your client to buy your product you're making a design to sell a product right as I told you earlier, you need to understand the color psychology of uh, your brand, everything you create for a brand, like every collateral logo, your company's logo, your company's website. You need to understand the importance of using a specific color. For that, I have created a video uh, about color psychology. If you need to understand color psychology, why don't you go and have a look? That's going to help you a lot to understand the color psychology. I assure you that 100%. Point number four, you need to see whether nothing is overlapping your product's image or something important that is written into your post. So you need to align everything. You need to give it a breathing space. I'm not asking you to make minimalistic design, but I'm asking you to make a design that really pops out. That is not a mess, a proper spacing, breathing space for every element and alignment suits your client size and get clicks gets your product sell spacing and alignment is very important in any kind of design not just social media posts but any kind of design everything that you put in your social media post or any design anything that you put in your design must be important not important things should not be there in your design you must not put anything or any element that doesn't belong there as i told you color is a big thing you must watch color psychology who need to understand branding and how color works for branding and that's very important hey thanks for watching and if you are new to this channel please don't forget to subscribe the channel push the bell icon to stay updated see ya